a quick little tutorial on how to repair your run cam. This is a run cam Eagle 2. Uh, it's seen some stuff. And we're going to repair it, put a new case. So this is the new case. Here's the part numbers, in case anybody is wondering. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod as of right yet, so that is on order. So I can't really go through this and show you how it's done while filming, but I will walk you through the steps as I take them. First step uh, is going to be removing this screw and this screw. Phillips head, the, uh, this 3D printed part is part of the uh, frame this came off of. This frame is the Catalyst Machine Works Speed Addict, Speed Addict version 2. Uh, I have since changed cameras, so this is just a spare, but let's, let's change it out. See you in a second. Okay, two screws have been removed. This 3D printed part just comes right off. Then we go ahead, take this back plate off. And for whatever reason, this whole thing comes with it. So that's your camera sensor. We're gonna have to clean that off a little bit. And there's the back plate. Let's see if we can just take that off. So we're gonna reuse this little guy on the back plate of this. That's the new one. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this off and replace it into the new one. I'm gonna clean that sensor off first and get back with you. Okay, sensor has been cleaned off. I removed the pad from there, added it to the new backing plate. Um, realistically, I don't need to change the backing plate, but you know, why not? It's there. Um, and the next step is to take the new backing plate. Which I think this is some kind of a, a heat absorber or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of sticky on both sides. There's like a paste on there, it almost looks like. Oh, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and plop this on there. Just like that. And then I will take my 3D printed part. It's just clearly not easy on camera. Put that right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab those screws and run them in. One quick observation. On this camera housing, if you notice it's got this beveled edge all the way around, except for here. That's the top left. The back plate will not fit snug otherwise. Push that all the way in, and you see you get a nice, nice edge along the top right here in the side, and then the backing plate will fit. Uh, it did not quite seat into that edge as nicely as it does now. So that is the proper way. There is in fact an up and a down on this. All right, I'm going to run the stock screws in there. I am not going to put that 3D printed part back on. Mainly because these screws are a different thread pattern than the normal screws. You can actually see there's quite the size difference between, well, 
not quite, but there is a size difference between the two. So not knowing where this camera will end up, what quad, uh, I'll just run the stock ones in and just be done with it. See you in a second. Okay, screws are in. Last and final step, I'm gonna take and unscrew the lens from this. And all you do is just kind of grab the lens, this outer ring, and just give it a twist, left hand turn. You're right. Unscrewed from the old one, and now we are going to screw this to this one. do have a new ring somewhere. I might change that out as well, but that's the completion. I think I will because this thing's trash too. There you go. That's how to replace the exterior case of a run cam. Some of the other models that have a microphone and whatnot have two boards as opposed to this one with the one board. So the difference there is you actually have to fight with the chip to get it out. Uh, at some point I will make a video of how to do that. I don't have currently to do that. So when I do, I'll get a video out. Anyway, catch you later.